Welcome to Opportuno, Episode 33, Story Time. Building a chariot behind closed door. There once was a young girl who was an excellent baker, learning the art and craft of baking from her grandmother when she was young. After she finished high school, she decided to start a bakery shop, using her baking skills as a way to make a living. She considered her grandmother to be the best baker she had ever known, having no doubt that her business would be a success. Her grandmother was a woman with kindness, coming from the old country, believing in ancient wisdom and the power of stories. The young girl went to her grandmother, seeking her advice and looking for guidance. She told the young girl the ancient Chinese Chenju story, building a chariot behind closed door. In an ancient kingdom, the king announced a chariot race, to be held on his birthday, offering the winner five of his finest horses and a wealth of silver and gold. There was a young chariot builder, learning for many years how to build the finest chariots from his father, who passed away and left the workshop to his son. The young man knew that he had learned chariot building from the best. One day he closed the door to the workshop, isolating himself from the world, and knew he would build the best chariot that would win him the race, and receive awards from the king. On the day of the race, the young man proudly hitched his chariot to his horses and headed to the race, expecting the superiority of his chariot to win the race. After losing the race, he realized how much everyone else had improved, leaving him far behind. The young chariot builder lost his competitiveness by shutting himself off from the world, not knowing what everyone else was doing. The young girl appreciates the wisdom of the story, starts to study what other bakers are doing, learns from the strengths of their products, and avoids mistakes that affect their businesses. When she opened her bakery, she met immediate success, creating a unique and superior business to serve the neighborhood by learning from other bakeries and incorporating their best ideas. The end. Chen Xu shares the wisdom of Chinese culture from previous generations of Chinese. A Chen Xu, spelled C H E N G Y U, is usually only four Chinese characters long, making a Chen Xu very easy to communicate to others. Even though a Chen Xu is only about four characters long, the Chen Xu can communicate what it may have taken someone many years to learn. Many times, the Chenju is often explained with an accompanying short story. The author of this story, Tark Chung, host of the Wark with Tark YouTube channel, spelled W O K W I T H T A K, learned Chenju during his childhood in China, and has written several modern stories of these ancient Chenju sayings. That is all for now. Please visit our website, opportuno.org. Thank you.